Yo people, you're watching Banter City and in this video I want to give a quick rundown of Nassim Taleb's latest tweets on Bitcoin. So recently Fat Tony aka Nassim Taleb sold his Bitcoin oh, and he went on in Twitter to blast about, not blast, he criticized Bitcoin's a couple of things about Bitcoin. The first one was Bitcoin's price volatility. Now, if you've been following Bitcoin at least for five, six months, it's a common thought among Bitcoiners that as Bitcoin grows in price, its volati volatility will go down. That's what they say. Uh, and they say as Bitcoin hits 100K, it'll be less volatile, blah, blah, blah. However, Bitcoin is at 50,000, over $50,000 now. And it's still very much volatile as it was maybe in $10,000. $10, so Bitcoin can still drop 20%, 30% in a day. So that's not good news as a Bitcoiner. But Nassim broke it. But the way he said it, he said that a currency cannot be more volatile than the product that you use it to purchase. Well, Nassim... None of the Bitcoiners consider Bitcoin as a currency. They consider it as a store of value. Then Nassim went on to show that Bitcoin is way more volatile than gold and is not a good competitor for gold. Okay, Nassim, we understand that. But I believe Bitcoin right now is a good hedge against inflation given all the money printing and uh, the economic collateral damage that's been done only time can tell the next critique of Nassim Taleb was that it was basically an attack on Bitcoin's lack of capacity or you could say privacy features so Nassim said that Bitcoin lacks any kind of privacy features so since it's completely traceable you cannot use it for money laundering or buying drugs or any other illegal activities which completely takes away its charm the initial charm that it had maybe in 2013 2014 2015 and 2016 after silk road got busted bitcoin kind of became like a typical ledger which is easily traceable so really bitcoin kind of lost its charm even though it got more fame so i'm sure nasim would love if bitcoin had uh, privacy features just like Monero or Haven Protocol or Zcash but overall these two critiques existed maybe for quite some time and Nassim just needed a reason to sell his box and he sold it and he said it. What do you guys think about Nassim's critics on Bitcoin? Let us know in the comments section below and until then I'll see you next time with a better idea I guess. See you guys. Cheers.